Hey there! You are either watching this because you're a Back to the Futures fan, or, the more likely, sitting in my electromagnetics class. Hello, Emag! You might have heard about Hendo's new hoverboard and are super excited to ride around like Marty McFly. But before you put on your 80s vest, fly up to Los Gatos, California, and drop $10,000, here's a few things you'll want to know about the hoverboard and how it works. The hoverboard has four electromagnetic engines with a capacitive 4S lithium polymer battery, a safety switch, and is turned on and off through remote control. The board itself weighs 100 pounds and can maintain a levitation height of 1 inch with a maximum load of 300 pounds. However, the hoverboard only works on non-ferrite materials like copper and aluminum. This is because the hoverboard capitalizes on Lenz's law, which states that an electric current induced by a source such as an unchanging magnetic field always creates a counterforce opposing the force inducing it. Sounds complicated, right? Well, here's where those electromagnetic engines come into play. In the electromagnetic engines, there are smaller magnets placed in a circle with alternating polarities. Each magnet creates a magnetic field in opposite directions. Then, they spin the entire engine so that the direction of the fields are constantly changing. With Hendo's unique design, they are able to create a net magnetic field in the downwards direction. This changing magnetic field induces an electric current in the copper surface, called an eddy current. The current creates an induced magnetic field in the copper, which opposes the downward magnetic field created from the board. The resulting upwards force from the induced magnetic field causes the board to levitate. Pretty basic, huh? For all that are interested in buying one, they will be open to the public for sale on October 21st. Well, see you then!